everybody. I did a Facebook Live and then I've just had a few people asking me if I could kind of redo the information on YouTube. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, the topic I, I want to chat with you about is linear versus residual income. Understanding what makes them different. Um, not just practically what makes them different, but how does it make a difference in your life if you have only linear income or you have residual income. So just to, let's start with the definition. Linear income is what 99% of the world have, and that is trading their time for money. I work an hour, I get paid an hour. I work 40 hours, I get paid 40 hours. Next week they cut my hours down, I only get 25 hours, I get paid for 25 hours. So it's really um, um, kind of what we call a work income. It's only there when you work. Every week you start at zero. Every day you start at zero because you're only getting paid for the effort you put in that day and that week. Now, residual income is the income of the rich. That's the income that comes in even when you're no longer working. Passive income, sleep income, reliable residual income is income we create. Now, how do we get it? You could be um, a, an author, you could be a musician and you write a song and that song is wanted by a lot of people and every time somebody buys it, you get paid some money. That's nice residual income, especially should you happen to write a song that is um, generational. I mean, it goes from generation to generation. People want that music. Sometimes if you get enough money and you can buy the right kind of stock, you can have income from stock. Maybe you create some sales from a website. That's good sleep income as well. Probably one of the um, more common residual incomes would be rental income. You buy a duplex, you rent it out. That's good residual income. But most sources of income, save for the artist and the author, require money to make money. And that is where a lot of people have a problem. They don't make enough money to ever create that kind of residual income. Here's where network marketing comes in for a small fee of $35, $50, $100, you can come in and start your own business. You have essentially registered a business for the small fee and now if you do it right, you can create an ongoing residual income that will pay you year after year after year. Why do people want to do that? Um, a lot of people think, oh, that's just a get rich quick and it doesn't work. Well, that's not how we sell it if we sell it properly. It's putting in the effort and in the beginning, if you were to work out how many hours, um, how much money you're making per hour, it's not going to look very good. Your linear income job might look better. But if you can continue with your vision of what you want to have and be able to continue to dream about what you can have, then that's going to sustain you when long after the emotion of making that decision is gone. In the beginning, you get all caught up, you hear what it could do, you see what the income potential is, and you think, I want to go for it. And then you pay your $100, you set up yourself in business, maybe even get business card, talk to a few friends, and all of a sudden, somebody tells you you're crazy. What are you doing this for? And you can't sustain yourself through that emotion. You know, I, a lot of people, when they look at us who are successful in this industry, they feel like we got lucky, or it can't really be that real because we don't really see them working, or is it legitimate? I wonder if it's really, there's integrity there because I don't know, she doesn't seem like she's working hard enough to have the lifestyle she has. A lot of our work is in here. It's not what people see because when you're sitting having conversation with people, they don't know what's going through your head. And those of us who are successful are unique beings in network marketing. You see, we have to keep ourselves up and inspired and have the vision when everything around us might feel like it's going against us. We still have to have that ability to build our faith in ourselves, in our company, in our business to, to persevere. It's a sophistication, uh, emotional intelligence I often refer to it, that not a lot of people have. So they get frustrated. You know, the one friend that they really could count on coming in that was gonna help them build this business decides not to do it and all of a sudden they can't build this business at all. Well, when you've been here a while, you know that no one person defines your business. You know, I kind of think about if you had decided that you were gonna create residual income by rental income, then you might buy, let's say you buy a fourplex. Now you could be a slum landlord 
And that slum landlord looks at it and says, I'm not doing anything to this place. I am not replacing the kitchen. I'm not putting in new flooring. I'm not painting. I am just going to find a tenant. You'll find a tenant. The tenant that likely won't pay rent on time. You'll likely be looking at evicting. They're going to destroy your place. Um, and then you're going to replace them. And then you're going to replace that guy. And then you're going to replace that guy. Then you're going to have a squatter and you're probably going to have to take him to court. So you're creating a lot of work because you didn't do what you needed to do in the front end for this reliable residual income you had the opportunity to create. Now think of um, the, the landlord who says, I see great income potential here. I'm going to come in. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to put some money into it. I'm going to update the kitchen, put a new bathroom, put some new floors. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to make it look attractive. And therefore, I'm going to attract different people and I can get a different income. Guess what? A year later, that, that tenant's still there. Two years later, that tenant's still there. In time, eventually, in all likelihood, they're going to leave. And then you're going to replace them. And if you do it right and you fix it up and you make it look attractive to begin, you're going to get another really great tenant. Reliable income doesn't mean that there's no work. You get a tenant, okay, I'm done. I don't have to do anything. It's not like that. The tenant might need you. Maybe something breaks down and they call you. Maybe you're away when something happens and you have to bring someone in else to help. Well, network marketing is sort of the same thing. If we do it right in the beginning, we look for the right people. We build it on solid principles. We have the attraction factor. We make the business attractive to people, then we get the right people to come in and we build it solid. And then when you decide to take off or life happens and a parent gets sick, a child gets sick, you lose a spouse, something happens unexpectedly, you've got a solid foundation. You've got a residual income that's reliable, that's coming in because you did it right. You built it on solid principles. That's really important. So one of the biggest challenges, and I think the reason I didn't talk a lot about it with my friends for years, is because I hardly could believe myself that I kept getting paid every month for what I did. You see, I wasn't putting value on the personal development part of what my business was, on what was going on in here all the time. My building my faith in myself and my business and my team and the industry, and that is stuff that people don't see. When I was reading a book, they just see me reading a book, but they don't know I'm reading a a personal development book or that I wake up every morning and I watch a video or I go to bed and most of the time before I fall asleep I'm watching one of the leaders in whether it's in my company or an industry leader do a training I'm constantly refreshing and rewriting the disc that's playing in my head so I'm solid I'm unshakable it doesn't matter what happens that is part of what we do to be successful in network marketing it doesn't matter if I do it in Canada or if I do it in Florida where I live in the winter or I decide to go to Australia for the winter, I can do it wherever I am. That's what we get paid to do. It, reliable resi residual income does not mean that there is no work once you've done the work. It means it's compounding month after month. All the work I did last month, the team members that came in, the personal development I did isn't lost on the first of the following month. It's compounded by the work and the personal development I do this month. That's what a reliable residual income is. But why is it the income of the rich? Because re residual income is income that manages to stay there when other things unexpectedly happen. It's income that allows you to live out your lifestyle, be the CEO of your day, when nothing in the linear income allows that. When you don't work, you don't get paid. Maybe you get your three weeks or five weeks, or maybe you're really lucky you get seven or eight weeks holidays a year, but that's it. That's what you get. And when life happens, um, you can be, you know, up the creek without a paddle. So what I challenge everybody to find a way to have residual income. That's the only way you can be comfortable and safe in this economy. For most of you, you'll make the choice that I made and it's in network marketing. And it's the option that does not allow you to have upfront money, but allows you to have incredible financial freedom. If you're looking right now for a way to do that, I would love the opportunity to chat with you. Um, reliable income versus I work one hour and get paid for an hour. I don't know about you, but that doesn't seem very attractive. I don't care that 99% of the world do that. I'm not prepared to do it because I have bigger dreams and a bigger vision and I want more for myself and my family.